One of the really exciting things that we get to do here at the Jackson Group when we work with an organization is not only give them you know, information on what their general satisfaction looks like from a certain population, but also understanding how that population satisfaction might impact another population. In most cases, we're talking about employee satisfaction or employee engagement and how it relates to customer satisfaction. Are there factors of employee satisfaction that are, uh, have a higher correlation, a higher connection to the customer satisfaction than others? Uh, research we've performed before shows that things like uh, being able to provide new ideas and suggestions as an employee has a ripple effect on customer satisfaction. So what you could argue is that an employee that feels more empowered in giving ideas and suggestions in their work environment is gonna display a better level of customer service to their customers, and therefore the customers are gonna have a more enjoyable experience with that organization. Uh, this gets to be really interesting. We do a lot of work with the healthcare industry and we do a lot of research between employee satisfaction and patient satisfaction, especially those patient factors that are part of the nationally mandated patient satisfaction survey. Finding out whether or not the effectiveness of staff meetings has a lot to do with how satisfied patients or customers are. Is involvement in decision making important to overall customer satisfaction? These are the kind of things that, although we can do this on a grand scale with all of the data in our database, it really becomes interesting when we look at it in an individual client location to see if the drivers for that particular client or that particular type of facility are different than others that we see. So that's something here at the Jackson Group we really like to offer to our clients whether we actually survey both populations or not. Uh, there's ways to work with results from other survey vendors to build those same correlations. But the overall goal would be is obviously if we had both sets of data, we have a lot more flexibility and a lot more detail we can dig into on those correlations. Regardless of this, if it's with the Jackson Group as a single vendor or with multiple vendors, finding those relationships is incredibly important and something we strive to do with every one of our clients here at the Jackson Group.